Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Catherine Premraj. I'm a former art teacher, and I'm currently working with Art to Remember, an art fundraising company whose mission is to support and promote art education. Today, we're going to be taking a look at two classroom lessons that unlock creativity while meeting all of the STEAM guidelines. Both lessons are wonderful open-ended art activities, and both lessons would work very well for the Art to Remember Fundraising Keepsake Program. Let's get started! Our first lesson is Pendulum Painting. In this lesson, we will be using a pendulum to paint a pattern. A pendulum is a mass that hangs from the end of a string and swings back and forth. This lesson will touch on many concepts such as simple pendulums, spherical pendulums, Newton's first law of motion, inertia, gravity, and spiral patterns. To build a pendulum, first you will need a place to hang it, such as from the bottom of a table, or in this case, a pole held up by two stools. Next, secure a string from your chosen place and attach a metal washer. The washer will add weight to our pendulum and make an easy place to attach a cup of paint. Before proceeding, you will need waxed paper cups, paint mixed with equal parts water, one sharpened pencil, a large paper clip, and your paper. First, bend your paper clip into a W shape and slip it onto the washer. Use a pencil to poke a hole in the bottom of your cup and one on each side of the top to attach it like a bucket to the washer. The combined weight of the washer, paper clip, paint, and cup will make up the mass of our pendulum. Some pendulums only move back and forth, like the ones on grandfather clocks. Ours can move in a circle, creating a spiral pattern. This kind of pendulum is called a spherical pendulum. Arrange paper under the cup. In one hand, take a hold of the cup and place a finger over the bottom to prevent leaking. Pour a small amount of your mixed paint or ink into the pendulum's cup. Lift the pendulum and swing away. Once the pendulum has been lifted and released, gravity pulls the pendulum back down while inertia keeps it moving back and forth. Inertia is the property of an object to stay moving unless it is stopped by an outside force like gravity. The pattern made by the pendulum is showing how gravity reduces the inertia as the cup slows down and eventually stops. Now, you not only have a beautiful evidence of Newton's first law of motion, but a great piece of art that can stand on its own or be worked into other art lessons, such as an underwater scene or geometric art. This lesson is about building robots to help us create art. The drawbots that we build will involve motors, force, uncontrolled movements, controlled movements, and influencing factors such as having a level surface. To make our drawing robot, we will need a cup, a rubber band, removable tape, a few fresh markers, and a small motorized object. We are using a toothbrush from the dollar store. Next, take the rubber band and put it around the cup. Pick three markers to act as legs to hold the cup up, and slip them under the rubber band so that the caps point down. Straighten them so that they are at even lengths, and secure them with tape. Make sure you can still remove the caps when you are ready to draw with your robot. Next, take your toothbrush or motorized object and tape it across the top of your cup. The battery end of this toothbrush is much heavier. Try to distribute the weight evenly so that your bot won't fall over. Later, you can have students make adjustments to see what happens differently if things are off-centered. When you turn the motor on, the inside is spinning around and around and sharing the energy it exerts on the brush that it is attached to. By attaching it to our drawbot, we are using that energy to move even more mass. This energy is the force that moves our robot. It's time to see what your drawbot can do. Using a grouping of colors on your art bot, you can create an interesting background for silhouettes and other art projects. Here we go!
Our first drawing robot was fun, but it couldn't be predictably controlled. A person with physical limitations might want to use a robot to draw, but control the bot as it goes. Why not repurpose a remote control car? Attaching a marker to the front of the car gave the best results. This was my first time using a joystick. I feel confident my students will have more control than I did. Did you know that your classroom could be doing projects like these while participating in an easy and profitable fundraiser? Art fundraising has gotten better and easier as companies cater to teachers and their busy schedules. How could your school benefit from extra funds? Art to Remember is a fundraiser with a program so simple you won't even need assistance. Here's how it all works. A helpful program coordinator will speak with you about your school's needs and keep your fundraiser on track. First, we send out free quality art paper for each student. We also include labels printed with student names created from your class list. It's so easy. Step 1. Students create artwork. Step 2. Student artwork is shipped to Art to Remember. Don't worry, we provide free UPS shipping labels. Then, we get to work scanning in artwork and making each and every student their very own personalized order form featuring their name and artwork. Step 3. Send personalized order forms to parents. Once order forms arrive at your school, they are already grouped by class. Handing them out to homeroom teachers couldn't be easier. At home, parents get to choose from the wonderful gift and home items they would like to order. Student order forms now feature personal codes for online shopping, so parents have the option of ordering by logging on to our secure e-commerce site. Step 4. Ship order to us. When the Art to Remember team receives your school's orders, we get to work making beautiful, lasting memories on quality products. Step 5. Distribute products. Carefully packaged products are shipped free of charge to your school and grouped by class for an easy distribution to excited students and happy parents. Now let's hear from some of the teachers who have tried out our fundraising program. And Art to Remember was probably the easiest fundraiser I have ever done. It didn't even feel like a fundraiser. Everything comes pre-packaged, the paper, everything, any questions I had were answered by my rep with no lag time. The money we raised, the parents loved the pieces and it funded the largest part of my art, which is ceramics. Yes, I raised okay. enough to purchase clay for about a thousand kids and glazes for a thousand kids, K through five. It was an amazing, amazing experience with the company and the kids loved it and the parents loved it. And every year, the first day of school, one of the questions I got was, are you doing the project again? And yes, I remember was at our school every year. And it was truly an amazing and easy and I'm all about the easy with a thousand students. So it was something that I didn't have to think about. It was, they loved doing it. And in the end, it was something that was so valuable because they got the experience of seeing their artwork on a piece, a cup or a plate, but then they also got to experience clay because of art. I'm Jen Welly and I teach at Centennial Elementary in Fargo, North Dakota and our school loves Art to Remember. We have a school with over 600 students and our parents ask about it every year. When are we going to get our Art to Remember? And they are always thrilled. We use, we use Art to Remember for Christmas presents or that holiday time and our, our kids just wait for it and our parents just eat it up. It's a wonderful advocacy tool for our school. We'll do it again next year. 
Hi, I'm Kayla Boyd with Eden Elementary School and we use Arch Remember each year as our yearly fundraiser and it is amazing how helpful and friendly all of the staff is and our representative through them. They're always there and willing to help with any problems or questions that I have. Um, my fundraising that I do through Arch Remember is actually my only resource um, for fundraising throughout the year. So it's a great experience working with them and I strongly encourage you to use them for yourselves. We really enjoyed our time with them. It's Art to Remember's mission to support and promote art education. Our fundraiser is one that teachers return to every year and parents ask for because it's creative, healthy, and a preservation of childhood memories. Contact us today to get started.